Oh my god, guys. Look at all these cutting edge graphics. Look at this. How gory is that? That is messed up. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to be playing this game. Oh my god. Welcome everyone. This is a game called Harvester. It is a point and click adventure game that was made in 1996. I'm having to use DOSBox to play this game as we speak right now. And when this game was released, it was considered a failure. Um, it has a lot of very controversial topics in it that uh, I'm not really going to talk about right now because I, I think that they'll be funny because of how messed up it is. I watched a, a streamer named uh, Dan Game or Dan's Games, and uh, I, I, I literally watched about like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes of it, and I was like, no, I got to try and get my hands on this game. Here it is. I'm, I'm super stoked. So... We should just get this started. Oh my god, my nose is so itchy always whenever I go on camera. I don't know why. So, uh, yes, it is a very point-and-click game. It has, it has, <laughs> it has the very basics for, uh, melee. So you can punch high, punch low, <laughs> and all that jazz just by left-clicking. Uh, as you can see, whenever you move your mouse around, it, it allows you to uh, examine the chair. So if we want to examine the P47 or 47 Thunderbolts, it says 148th scale P47 Thunderbolt with a broken propeller and a hastily glued P51 Mustang in exact 136th scale. Now, if we go to the, the bed here, okay, this is where like some of the controversy comes in because again, this is in 1996, you know, not many people were open to this type of stuff. But if we examine the bed, it says the mattress is speckled with odd stains. Oh, God. <laughs> a recently watered plastic plant. Why was it watered? Like, who waters it? Who waters plastic plants? Okay, so you can move around by clicking and holding. We can examine the basketball. An official Dust Bowl basketball autographed by GPF. Who the hell is GPF? A handful of faded cardboard, or hardbacks litter the lower shelf. And then an empty trash can so clean you can eat from it. Dresser drawer is unlocked. Can we open it? Oh, look at that. What do we got here? Chew marks are visible on the end of the ballpoint pen. Are we able to pick? Okay, so we picked that up. Um, a 25 cent piece dated 1952. Wow, that is old. Uh, is there... Dude, look at those shades. As of yet, the future isn't so bright. Wow. Okay, so these cutting edge graphics, right? They are amazing. Okay, so can we go into the closet? Seven flannel shirts accompanied with matching blue jeans are hanging neatly in the closet. Okay, so there's really nothing left in our room, I don't think. Uh, just, yeah. Oh, examine the pinup. A sexy pinup. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's exit our room, and then we will... I don't even know where we are. Okay, so... Oh, man. Look at those graphics! Like, the. The lighting on the kid here. His apparently this kid's name is Hank. What? Okay, who is he? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell mom on you. What a little jick. Jick? I was gonna say jerk, but I also want to say dick, so it's jick. Don't know what the hell that means. Steve. Are you talking to me? Yeah. I mean I don't wanna be, because I'm trying to watch my cowboy show. Look at his I'm eyes. Sorry. Look, I'm telling you, I need your help. I've lost my memory. Have not. Cut it out. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. You always were a kidder, Steve. Leave me alone. I'm sick. I'm sick. Okay, so what can we type in, like, uh, shut up? Say what? Okay, so no. Okay, so let's, why is he sick? What's wrong with you? I got a headache and a stomach ache. Then why aren't you in bed? Because I want to watch my cowboy show. Dude, look you know, at him. He's right fucking right. hardcore about I'm his cowboy ready. show. I couldn't go to school because I'm sick. Wearing that cowboy hat and they vest and everything. He even has a star, I think. Wow, dude. Why you gotta be so mean? What about our dad? Your dad is asleep. He and mom went at it last night pretty hard. He stayed in bed. <laughs> I saw what she did to him. It was pretty bad. What, what the she... fuck? Like, you don't know. I saw you and her on the couch last Wednesday night. Guess that's why she's grounded now, huh? <laughs> Too bad you didn't pay me and I had to tell, huh? What are you talking about? What girl? What? Is there another one too? 
Wait till I tell. Wait, what? I'm so confused right now. I don't right know what girl you're talking about. All summer, it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie Okay, that. so I think Stephanie's now you don't probably remember? our girlfriend there or something. You think I'm dumb or something? No, I just can't remember anything, like I said. Well, you better remember quick, because the wedding's in two weeks. A wedding? What? Leave me alone so I can watch TV. <laughs> I said I don't want to talk about her Okay, anymore. relax, dude. God, I hate you, That's little kid. That's a weird-looking television. Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. Retro? Ooh, retro. All TVs look alike. Sure, basically. But this is one old-fashioned clunker. Old-fashioned? It's brand new. Yeah, but look at the tube. Where's the remote control? <laughs> What's that? I... Now that I think about it... I so did I get, like, sent back from, like, the future said? or something yeah, like that? Retro rockets? Retro no, rockets. retro. It means... It means... Oh, man, I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong. But I can't picture the difference. Then shut up and quit bugging me. Whoa, this kid, man, he has quite the attitude on him. Let's talk about the Cowboy Show. That your show is in black and white. What else? Color on a TV? <laughs> well, I, I think I've seen a color television before. Have not. Quit it, or I'm gonna tell. Hey, what the hell you? <laughs> your mother lets you watch this stuff? Sure. This is part of history. What made America great? <laughs> America. Bloody guts are neato. <laughs> They're neato. Uh, but little kids really shouldn't be watching Wild Eyes. I mean, that's how, that's why there's messed up kids nowadays. Well, you can't stop me, so let me alone, or else. Let me alone, not leave me alone. All right, dude, whatever. You I have nothing it. else to say. Finally. Are we able to examine the clock? A pendulum-driven cuckoo clock with the cuckoo Ali absent. <laughs> Fine bone china gleams from the mahogany shelves. Man, we live in a very weird place here uh examine the coloring book a box of crayons and a range rider coloring book look at that it's not even um that's that's the american way a stunning depiction of the earth made of paper mache okay so this looks like just our basic i mean we can't even examine anything else here we can leave but examine the kitchen window a pass through for the kitchen okay so let's see oh we can go into the kitchen here who the hell is this Examine the cookies. These cookies are hot out of the oven. Mm. Wait. Except in the baby crib? A newborn is sleeping soundly. Okay. Extinguisher. Fireman. Sparky. Super foamy fire extinguisher. Wow. With a name like that, I don't think... I just want to have fun with it, you know? An expertly embroidered, old-fashioned wall plaque. Okay, so let's talk to this well, good woman. Hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. <laughs> what? You. That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? <laughs> well, nice, though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't This you? is like the original oh, amnesia right I here. You grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. What a new job? So that's my name. Your name will be M-U-D Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. <laughs> I don't Do know why the voice me? acting. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. And her face. I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. We have a little sister? I assume that's who the baby is, right? Sister? <laughs> her face every I single time. I down to sleep. If she wakes up, she'll just want to eat again. What the fuck? Darn it, fuck? I'm busy, and if you think I'm going to play along with this nonsense, you're crazier than Sparky down at the firehouse. Fine. Maybe I am crazy. I can't rule that out. Why can't you just help me a little? Is that too much to ask? Now you've done Oh my god, we woke up the baby. We woke up the baby from our yelling. There, there. Did your brother scare you? Let me see. <gasps> What the fuck? She's a monster. That's what she is. What the fuck? She just slapped our child. What the fuck? Tetsua Crumb is going to hear about this. Tetsua. I want you to go to her house right now and give her a piece of my mind. I don't know where she lives. 
Honestly, you can't miss a house covered with paper nests. Steve, you tell her to mind her own beeswax. Beeswax get yeah, because she's a wasp woman. The, or the lodge. The lodge. What the hell's the lodge? What lodge? The hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. It's just the finest place in Harvest, and the most that exclusive. That face. What's so great about it? Hard to say since hardly anyone gets inside. But it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher. That looping music in the background is annoying. DM. I've never used one, but I know I want it. Instead of sulking around the house all day, why not walk like, over oh, to the lodge and apply for membership? Uh, why? Yeah, like, I don't want a fez on my head. Actually, fezes are pretty cool. So let's go, why not? That's wonderful, Steve. If you got into the lodge, you'd be the talk of Harvest. Harvest. Harvest is a town unlike any you've ever known. In what way? I don't have time to go into it now. Why not take a walk around town and pester someone else? I'm busy. I don't really want to go pester anyone else. Uh, what about dad? Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Father? Can we talk about our father? My father. He's in the other room. He decided to sleep in today. Now, please, let me get back Why to my Why is he cookies. in the other room? Is, is she going to say the same thing if I do that? My father. Okay, yeah. He's it's... in the other room. He decided to sleep in today. Now, please. Let... Wait, let's see if she knows about Stephanie. Stephanie. And just who is Stephanie? Don't you dare toy with that sweet girl. If you start in on her with all this, this amnesia, amnesia poop, poop, she'll think her fiancé is having second thoughts about the wedding. See, like this. She's my fiancé? Fiancé? This is insane. <laughs> Oh, every not time. Having second thoughts about marrying Stephanie. Is that what this silliness is all about? Pre-wedding jitters. Can something like that produce amnesia? Stop this foolishness right now and count your blessings. Stephanie is great at cooking and cleaning. Oh my god. Well, cooking and cleaning is a good thing for not just a woman. Not just a woman. Cooking and cleaning is awesome. For What's anyone and cleaning got to do with anything but yes Honestly, that's what i wanted to say so dense what else is there for a wife but cooking and cleaning there we go you may there's the sexism the right there clean plate when it's there but if it wasn't we'd hear about it soon enough i'll bet you're saying that's all there is to marriage cooking and cleaning well you'll uh, have to ask your father about that but i'm sure stephanie will do her duty when the time comes <laughs> bless your <laughs> innocence <laughs> But there are certain disgusting truths that go along with marriage. Facts that can't be disguised by sheets which wrap around the contours of flexing go-go's and bouncing legs. You can't know what I'm talking about and that's best. When the time comes to make a baby with Stephanie, you'll have to make your the birds and the bees, the of course. When a farmer plants his seed, he can't help but get some nasty dirt on his head. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, oh wait, yeah, we already He's talked about it. Room. He decided to <clears> Okay, in so now, please, let me get back to my cookies. I don't know what kind of house we're living in, but let's talk about the cookies. The bake sale is on Friday, and yet you're baking the cookies now. Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. It's true, but never do that. But stale by then. That's why I'm throwing them away. And then cooking more? To replace the ones I throw out. Why? Well, I have to. What? No one's going to pay to eat stale cookies out of the garbage can. But you expect me to. Of course not, Steve. I, I can't fathom what the either. fuck this Help woman yourself. is saying. Like, she's going to bake the cookies, throw them out because they're stale, and then they're going to bake them again. Why? What charity is this bake sale supposed to benefit? It'll help provide a fund for bums and hobos who wander into harvest and have no family time. Bums and hobos. It's a specific target group, isn't it? You have to pay attention to detail when dealing with such people. I don't know what you mean. You will. The whole thing has been organized by the Lodge. Tell me more about this bake sale. Why is it so important? As I told you, many unfortunates who come to Harvest end up needing financial help. Financial Why is that help. the town's problem? Yeah, it's that doesn't make problem, any sense. So long as those folks are taken care of. It's the will of the Lodge. This Lodge sounds scary. Harvest is oh, wait, yeah, we already heard about that. And the Lodge... The lodge. The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. It's just the finest place in Harvest, and the most exclusive. What's so great about it? Hard to say, since hardly anyone... Oh, wait, we already listened to that, so, yeah. Don't be... Don't okay, 
I don't want to know what she said about that because Fez are cool. You know how he gets. The papers for Jimmy. Is there anything else in this fucking house? Cookies are baking in the oven. The cabinet cabinet smells of dirty diapers? Why the fuck would a cabinet smell of dirty diapers? This is the most bizarre game I think I have honestly encountered. Okay. A uh, box full of newspapers. Are we able to grab one? Okay, so we got one. Wait, do we put that in our inventory? No. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go back in. I want to grab that. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to grab the newspaper. Come on. Is. Oh, examine your inventory if you. Okay, so. If I left-click on my guy, that's how I, I examine my inventory here. Okay, so let's... I guess this is the kid that we're supposed to give the newspaper to, right? Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Nope. Uh... Because I have amnesia. I not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? Uh... Yeah, why would we put the paper out for him? If he's the paper boy, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah? Well, try to remember, will ya? How'd you? How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? What the I saw fuck? That and a pair of sneakers. <clears throat> this Walking is... this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? No, I don't. Oh, gee whiz. Look, if you find any, I'd be willing to trade you for them. Something, Something neato. Really Woohoo! What the hell could that be? See you later, alligator. Okay, well, I want to talk to you again, Jimmy. See you later. What the hell? Okay, well, what if I do this? Uh, grab the newspaper. Use newspaper on Jimmy. Now. See how easy it is? Things are so much better between us when you remember the paper in the morning. I still have no idea why the hell we're giving the paper boy our paper. Is there anything in the mailbox? It's full of junk mail, bills, and bake sale flyers. The air conditioner. An army surplus air conditioner. Ooh. Uh, the security... Why are there security bars? There are security bars fastened to the window with Phillips head screws. The power lines. High voltage power lines. Bathe your home in a wholesome old-fashioned electromagnetic field you feel they're humming in your dreams that's kind of weird and what the heck is that a disc a day glow lima disc disc space disc not disc disc stuck on the roof okay so oh my god i honestly think i'm gonna end my episode off here um i don't know if this is gonna become a full series i want to let you guys let me know what you guys think because if this is something you're interested in, I will definitely do this. Because right now it seems very freaking quirky, very bizarre, and out there. And the mother hits kids, apparently. So if this is something you guys want to see, let's quickly save the game. Can we do it? Game 01. Uh, here we go. What should I do? Should I keep it going? Or should I... Should I just stop? I'm, I'm leaving it up to you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know. If if it's if you guys don't want to see it, I'll probably stream it or something. Because this is definitely something I want to play through. Anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, be sure to let me know what you guys thought. And I shall talk to you guys later. Peace out, Girl Scout.